What's good, y'all? What's the number TV? It's your boy, Poe Row. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Poe Row and What's the Numbers I provided. Today, we'll be back with another profile, people. But before we get into that, I just want to say we have 78,000 subscribers on our way to 100K. We appreciate everybody that's supporting the channel. Subscribe to the channel. If you ain't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So, appreciate all the support. Also, if you're looking for some promo, you know what I'm saying? Our numbers is up. The views is up. The energy, the traffic on the channel is up. You want some promo, holler at me on the email or hit me on Instagram, what's the numbers TV, or the email, what's the numbers TV at yahoo.com. Any support for the channel is appreciated. The cash app right there. If you appreciate the content, you like the content, you want to show some support, that's also appreciated. But say we back with another profile piece. This one is on G Depp. In this video, we're going to talk about his childhood growing up in Harlem. Then we'll speak about his entry into the music industry as a member of one of the biggest rap labels in the game. Next, we will look at his career as a rapper where he dropped one major label album and enjoyed some success with a hit single. After that, we will break down the different mental and drug issues that g Depp dealt with throughout his life that will cause him to speak about certain situations from his past that will land him in jail. g Depp, real name Travell Gerald Coleman, is from the east side of Harlem, New York. He was raised by his grandmother in the Johnson Housing Projects, where he would find an interest in rap from an early age, but only as a hobby at first. But after seeing another artist from his area that he knew personally named Black Rob get signed to Bad Boy Records, g Depp started to take rap more serious. He would drop out of college in search of a music career of his own and began a fun recording sessions by selling cocaine on the streets of Harlem. He would carry a gun sometimes and eventually started to dabble in drugs himself with Angel thus being his particular drug of choice. In 1998, G-Dub's talent caught the attention of Sean Puffy Combs, who was already one of the most powerful men in hip-hop. Combs would be so impressed with G-Dub's rhyming skills that he signed into to a $350,000 record deal. In the next year, g Depp appeared on two songs on Black Rob's 1999 debut album, Life Story. Then in 2001, g Depp released his debut solo album, Child of the Ghetto, which peaked at number 106 on the Billboard 200 and number 23 on the top R&B and hip-hop charts, with his single, Special Delivery, peaking at number 3 on Hot Brass Singles charts. And once the video dropped with Child Dancers doing the Harlem Shake, the song took on a life of his own and still gets played at dance parties to this day. G. Depp, who by this time had three kids, should have been enjoying his new family and career as a successful rapper. But for some reason, a dark secret he was living with kept eating at him on the inside, preventing him from taking his career to the next level. The situation that was haunting G. Depp affecting his career in a negative way was a cold case murder he was a part of. The murder details go like this. In the fall of 1993, a month before his 19th birthday, G. Depp used a gun to mug a random stranger on 114th at Park Avenue in Harlem. The robbery ended up being botched when the victim resisted a bit. Next, the only thing g Depp remembers is firing his gun three times, hitting the man, and then fleeing on his bike. He told no one about what happened. And as he left his home the next morning, the police were canvassing the neighborhood and stopped him on the street where they asked him a few questions. g Depp denied knowing anything about the situation and didn't speak on it again for years. So as his success started to grow, the burden of what he did back in 1993 started to be too much to carry. His music started to suffer, and he fell deeper and deeper into his drug addiction, eventually leading up to Sean Puffy Combs dropping him from his bad boy label after only one album. Then in late 2010, g Depp, now 37, couldn't bear it anymore. He went to the police and told the officer he had shot a man 16 years before. The police did nothing. Two weeks later, he went back to the police to confess again. His memory of the incident was vague. He told police that he remembered the victim as being a light-skinned male standing at the corner of Park Avenue and 114th Street. He didn't know the date. The police soon found a match to a cold case murder of a man named John Hinkle, who had been shot on October 19, 1993 at that location. It was then that G. Depp learned that the man he shot had died. Suddenly, G. Depp was charged with murder, but when asked if he had any second thoughts about turning himself in, he said nah. After the case was made public, his family was in disbelief and Sean Puffy Combs would go on XM Radio to talk about it in December of 2010. It was during this interview that Puff would say that G-Dep is one of the nicest artists he ever worked with, but you could always feel like something was troubling his soul. The murder case would move forward to trial in April of 2012, where the jury found G-Dep guilty of second-degree murder, and on May 8, 2012, he was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. He was 38 years old at the time and is eligible for parole at the end of 2025. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV. That was a quick profile piece on G. Depp, real name Travell Gerald Coleman. Now, if you know anything about G. Depp, you know he was a bad boy record artist. He had a hit in special delivery. 
But my favorite song from G-Dep is Child of the Ghetto. Now, he got an album named Child of the Ghetto, but he got the song named Child of the Ghetto with the crazy beat, the good, f- crazy flow. That's my favorite G-Dep song. So if you want a good G-Dep song to go check out, check out Child of the Ghetto. But, you know, a lot of people know him from Special Delivery, from the whole dancing and all that, the bear, but the Harlem Shake in the video. So, you know, he had a little run. I'm sure he did a bunch of shows with off that song and moving around and all that. So I'm sure he lived some type of a rap dream, a rap career. But... You know, drugs, you know, get the best of him. Now, you got to think of a murder, too. There's some people that they say that when they commit a murder, that it messes with them, and they might not be on drugs, you know what I'm saying? So, I guess him living with that and being on drugs, it was like extra PTSD on his head, dealing with certain things, and he ended up coming forward about that murder and caught all that jail time. Now, if you know he's from East Harlem, El Barrio, that's where Black Rob is from, so G-Dev Johnson, Jeff, you know, First Ave, East River, 1199, all that's that, that area over there, so... You know, that's the area he's from, you know what I mean? So, now, I used to be in the east side of Harlem, you know, back then, so, back in the day. And I used to see uh, G-Dep getting off the train, right there, the 6th train on, on 110th over there, right? You come on off of 3rd Ave, you know, by the, by the project building and the stores right there, the supermarket. So, right there, I used to always see him walking down that block, high as a kite, I ain't gonna lie, spaced out looking. But he always showed love, like, yo, day, he'd be like, yo, yo, but he looked like spaced out, I ain't gonna lie. So, it was never like... A secret that he was dealing with different things, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to D to G Dep. I'm sure he probably got himself some more clean in there, some of focus as far as mind clear. And he should be coming up for parole in 2025. Now he was 38 when he went in, so he'll be about 50 years old almost, maybe a year 51 or something. But you know, his profile pieces on G Dep, man. I ain't gonna ramble too long. It's what's the numbers TV. It's your boy Poe Roman. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go follow the Instagram. And be back before you know it, man. We out of here. Peace.